The first batch of COVID-19 vaccines could arrive in Singapore very soon, as some vaccines require temperatures as low as negative 70 degrees Celsius. They need to be distributed in a series of transportation and storage links called a cold chain to ensure their viability. Here's a closer look at how the vaccines will be transported via this cold chain to reach the population. Once the vaccine shipment arrives from Changi Airport. Ground handlers like Denata transfer it from the aircraft into these high-tech containers known as cool dollies. It features a closed temperature controlled system, which can store cargo at temperatures ranging from negative 30 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. The temperature can be remotely monitored as the dollies transport the vaccine shipment to Denata's cool chain facility, which can be up to 45 minutes away. An airside dock allows the vaccines to be moved inside without exposure to ambient temperatures. Inside the warehouse, different goods can be stored in separate zones at different temperatures, managed in real time by a web-based monitoring system. At each stage, checks are in place to ensure an unbroken cold chain. If there is a deviation, uh, if a good comes off an aircraft and we realize that it's warmer than it should be, we will get it into the right temperature as soon as possible and we would notify the shipper for further instructions. Sometimes that can be topping up dry ice, putting it into even colder temperatures than they have advised us to do so. There's quite a few recovery techniques we can use. Turnover for pharmaceuticals is typically very quick. The vaccine shipment spends less than three hours in the cool chain facility before they are picked up to go to the next stop, pharmaceutical distributors. One such company is Zulik Pharma. The arriving vaccine shipment is unloaded from a refrigerated truck and immediately moved to a cold room for storage. At 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, the cold room is specifically designed to maintain the efficacy of vaccines. Staff can use a temperature monitoring device to check the temperature of the shipment received. Once the vaccines are due to be shipped out, they are packed in boxes that can maintain storage temperatures as low as negative 25 degrees Celsius. Called the Easy Cooler, it comes with a thermal insulation layer that can store vaccines for up to four days. Several gel packs are placed in, the shipment is logged and is then ready to be sent to hospitals or clinics. Transporting the vaccines from the aircraft to its final destination takes time and a lot of precision and care. Yet, with these measures in place to maintain the viability of the vaccine, we have a good shot at ending the pandemic.